In this video, guys, I'm talking about autism and tics, and do you do these? Hey guys, welcome back to the Aspie World. My name is Dan. I have autism, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia, and I make weekly content on this type of genre. So if you are interested in all that and want to learn more, remember to hit the subscribe button by clicking that notification bell. And also, if you're watching over on Facebook, be sure to give this page a like and a follow to see more videos just like this one all week. Okay, so let's move into it. I wanted to take this video all about autism and ticking and if you aren't familiar with ticks, I'll get into that in just a moment. But before I do that, I just want to say if you want to get me on my other social media, I have Facebook, Instagram, TikTok and Twitter and I also publish content on all of those platforms independently on autism. So if you want to, you know, digest a bit more, go down and subscribe to those other social media networks. Give me a follow. And also you can reach me on the DMs. You can reach out to me on DMs on Twitter and Instagram. I reply to everybody. So yeah, if you want to hit me up, do that. So ticks, let's, let's talk about ticks. Ticks are normally formally um, associated with the uh, syndrome of Tourette. So Tourette syndrome, where people have um, certain urges to make noises, uh, have ticks, um, say things that are, um, that are typically un, uh, unflattering for conversations. They may use swear words or cuss words or blaspheme, or they may do certain gestures which are kind of like negatively imposing. And this is not their fault. This is due to a neurological condition called uh, Tourette syndrome and Tourette syndrome actually um, you know impacts these things I actually did a video all about Tourette syndrome which I will leave in a link above here and in a pinned comment of this video and in the description below if you want to check that out but literally for simplicity I'm not going to talk too much about Tourette's in this video I just wanted to talk to you about where to uh, you know the ticks typically are associated with so ticks typically associated with Tourette syndrome, but that doesn't make it exclusive to Tourette syndrome. Now, ticks are um, involuntary jerks uh, from, it could be anything, it could be coughing, it could be words, it could be a certain, um, like, uh, you know, hand gesture or, or thumping or clapping or clicking. Now, these ticks um, are something that's involuntary. Now, I do certain ticks and I wanted to talk to you about my ticks personally and really just kind of get a feel for those and, and ask you what your ticks are and if you understand what ticks are. Now, um, if you are enjoying this video, do please give it a thumbs up. That would mean the absolute world to me. And if you think this can help somebody, why not share it on Facebook and Twitter? Because that would just be super awesome. Okay, so ticks. Um, one of my main ticks, um, I have a few different ones. Uh, one of them is uh, I, I, I like hit my hit my chest like this. And then this is like, I just go like that. And I kind of like tense myself and hit my chest there. Um, and this tick usually happens um, randomly, almost when I'm, I'm kind of like, you know, if you're if you're going through your day and you're doing your things, you know, you're, you're going about your day and everything's fine. And then you're, you're kind of like, with autism, I'm kind of like constantly on edge all day. But when I'm about to just dip into relaxation time, maybe I'm about to have dinner or sit down and watch Netflix or whatever, at that tipping point, that's usually when that tick occurs. I'm like, oh, and then it kind of like jolts me into like, you know, doing something a bit different. Now I do have other ticks. Um, some other ticks in, involve uh, doing this and coughing at the same time <clears throat> when I'm a bit nervous. So if I'm really nervous, I like hit this and go <clears throat> and, and cough at the same time. I'm kind of like clearing your throat. Um, it's not really a cough, as to say like a <laughs> cough, you know, this is more like a <clears throat> clearing of your throat, but also hitting my chest. Now this is really bizarre because they are completely involuntary. They're, there's things that I don't even um, realize, but they're urges. They kind of come over me almost like a feeling, like a like it has to get out. Like, you know, when you sneeze, it's like an involuntary feeling. You know what's gonna happen, and it just happens and it comes up. And it's very much like a sneeze. If you relate to this, please give it a thumbs up. I'd love to know if you relate to exactly what I'm talking about right now. And drop me a comment. if you. You have your ticks that are different to mine and you think that they may be interesting for other people to kind of like align themselves with put it in the comments down below I read and respond to every single one so that would be just super awesome but another tick of mine is this one where I'm like I shout I kind of go ah and like I close my eyes and then it like strains my strains my eyes on my head and I go ah and I shout a little bit now sometimes this is mixed in with a stim so I'm like stimming I'm like ah and I like can like jolt my head back a little bit uh, and then uh, my arms rock if I'm really, really nervous or really stressed, but the the tick that comes on when I'm like, ah, will sometimes happen when um, I am literally relaxing. Pr pretty much normally, I have one of these a day at 
I would say around half past eight, nine o'clock in the evening when we're sitting down uh, watching television, uh, we've got Netflix on the go or we're just sitting down talking in the living room and uh, I'm sitting there and it randomly this is like feeling this urge or like, oh, overcoming, ah, and then it'll just kind of, it will just happen. Now, one of the most interesting things about that is that in terms of having a, um, a tick happen involuntary, you have no control over it. And sometimes it really does bug me, you know, that it, I find it like an issue when I'm ticking. I'm like, oh, you know, I wish I didn't have these ticks that would just like, you know, push my body uh, to do these things, but especially in random situations where people are just like, what the hell is that guy doing, you know? And that kind of really bugs me. But uh, I don't know if you've been following my videos for a long time, and if you have, then you will know that I put a few vlogs out um, at the beginning of the year talking about a uh, new medication that I was trying. And so in January, February time, I was putting some medication for for my anxiety, depression, and ADHD, and uh, it's um, it's quite an interesting medication, and it actually helped uh, a lot with like things like my sleep issues, my my mood and motivation um, dips that were happening because like I had quite an up and down personality. But more importantly, um, for me, talking about ticks, it actually helps suppress the ticks to a certain degree. So let me explain this. If I've just taken my medication, within the next couple of hours, if I have any tick urges, I can also feel the urge, but nothing happens. I feel the feeling, but no tick happens. But in uh, in retrospect, if I if, if it's like I took my 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 medication at night time and it's like halfway through the day, the following day, then um, my ticks will will happen. So it has to be kind of like the tick is only controlled by the medication when the medication is first ingested. I have no idea if this is a placebo effect. I don't know if it's actually a medical thing. I would like to know. If you have any experience with this, let me know in the comments down below. That'd be super interesting. Now, I don't have a diagnosis of Tourette's syndrome. Um, I don't know any of the other qualifying criteria for Tourette's syndrome, but I know it takes come along with it. Now, I'm not saying that I do have Tourette's syndrome. Just wanted to put this out there in case people say, hey, Dan, in the comments, you say, hey, uh, you know, do you have a diagnosis of Tourette's syndrome? And is that what you're talking about? And I'm, at the moment, no, it's, it's all directly related to my diagnosis of Asperger's syndrome and ADHD and OCD and dyslexia. So this is all pretty much uh, all wrapped into autism. Now, I don't know if every single person on the autism spectrum has tics that are related like this, or maybe they have tics that are more mild, or maybe they have tics that are so extreme that like, you know, they, they fall over and stuff. I, I don't know the answers to those. I don't know if, if everyone has the same, um, but I do know that it is varied that, um, you know, some people will have tics, some people won't have tics, and it's all dependent on the brain and, and how it feeds it together, how it operates, how it, how it moves itself, you know, because autism is a neurological developmental disorder that that impacts the communicative part of the brain and it's how the neurological paths fuse together on the conception of your brain, how it, how it actually created it itself. Now that being uh, something that just absolutely fascinates me, um, it does call for the fact that everybody in the autism spectrum is independent. Now I'd like to know, do these ticks sound familiar to you? Um, because I'd love to know if you if you deal with this and if you have any tips on how you deal with the ticks when you're out in public because when I'm out in public I kind of make you know this the ticks make a scene of something and then the people just look at me and say like you know what's wrong with this dude and obviously there's nothing wrong with me I'm absolutely fine but it's just that these ticks happen involuntarily now um, I want people to know that there's nothing wrong with ticks ticks are absolutely fine and in in a way once a tick is over with I kind of feel a little bit of relief so when you feel that build up of a tick a tick happens and then I feel a bit of relief but then I also feel this kind of like sadness like I let myself down like oh I had a tick which I shouldn't feel sorry for for being myself but in terms of having the tick um, it's weird it's almost like it's not really enjoyable but it's, it's kind of like a sense of relief so I have this too overwhelming I have like a relief sensation and then also a sensation of like oh I wish that just didn't happen but at the same time I'm glad it has happened because then it's released that kind of unusual feeling of having this tick built up inside me um, also I had some ticks similar to this when I was a kid a lot of them were just like more me like shouting out things but mainly they're me uh, like tapping at my chest and, <clears throat> and cleaning my throat um, and uh, and saying random things like you know like um blitting out like ah uh, you know randomly at random times it has no consistency apart from the ones that i can see that are later at night and i think it's as i'm going to relax uh, but usually during the day if i'm if i'm out and about during the day some ticks happen and i have no control over that you know that we're not i'm not about to relax i'm not sitting down to watch netflix it's not you know half past eight nine o'clock at night so it really has no pattern to how it actually works and that's kind of like really interesting about that i want to do more investigation into this and i may talk to my therapy uh you know the therapist 
therapist about this and, and see if they, just to see if I can get any help with um, ticks and things like that because I think that it's going to be really important to know, you know, how I can go about doing that. Now in terms of, uh, of, of going forward with it, I'm going to speak to my therapist and potentially look online for some stuff about ticks to see if I can, there's any therapy available to help with that. But in the meantime guys, if you're new around here and you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time guys. Peace. Thank you.